Periodically, you'll need to replace the cutting blade on your adjustable circle cutter. Fortunately, that is a task that is relatively easy to perform, and replacement blades are available here at American Button Machines. You'll need just a couple of tools to replace that blade. First, a flathead screwdriver, as well as a pair of needle nose pliers. To get started, I'll turn the machine over and remove the centering template. So I'll just lift up on the tab and rotate until it comes free so that I can remove that centering template. And then on the top near the handle, I want to completely remove the thumb wheel. I'll unscrew it completely and remove it from the handle so that I'm relieving the pressure on the spring that is inside. There is a rod, a spring, and a ball bearing inside that I want to make sure not to lose. So removing that thumb wheel will relieve the pressure. I can then push that handle so that I'm pushing the blade all the way clear of the base. And I want to align that with one of the cutouts in the base so that I can now very easily slide that cutting blade rod out of the cutter. I'll set that cutter aside, resting it on its side to make sure that I don't lose that ball bearing or the spring or rod that are inside and then I'm ready to replace the blade itself. I'll use the flathead screwdriver first, and I want to place the corner of the flat edge of my flathead screwdriver into the gap of the E-clip, and then rotate in order to release that E-clip. I can then remove the actual blade. You'll want to be careful when handling the blade. It is sharp, and so I'll simply pull that off of the shaft, and then put the replacement blade into place. I can then place the clip onto the shaft for the cutting blade. I'll then use the needle nose pliers to snap the E-clip back onto the cutting blade shaft. Now that I've replaced that cutting blade, I'm ready to put the cutting blade assembly back into the cutter. So I will once again apply pressure on the handle to bring that rod upward, making sure that the holes for the cutting blade assembly align with one of the cutouts. I also want to make sure that the ball bearing has not popped up out of the hole. If so, I could use a small tool to push it back into position. I can then insert the cutting blade assembly back into the cutter and then I will reattach the thumb wheel, tightening that up completely. And then I am finished replacing that blade. So now all I need to do is replace the centering template. So I'll put that into position and then apply downward pressure and rotate until it is locked in place. And there you have it, a very simple task to replace the cutting blade on that adjustable circle cutter.